Hi everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. Uh, this is tutorial number two and in this uh, lesson we are going to explore the different types of retaining walls and uh, their application in geotechnical uh, engineering. So the first question is uh, what is the primary function or uh, the primary functions of retaining walls and uh, shoring systems in geotechnical engineering or in general in uh, construction. So uh, the retaining walls and uh, shoring uh, systems ensure uh, soil stability in construction. Also they prevent uh, slope uh, failures and uh, pro project nearby structures from a uh, ground movement. Also, uh, the common use of retaining walls, as we know, uh, we, they, they are used in basement uh, for a basement or road embankment and uh, slopes in uh, hilly areas. Uh, also, when, uh, we, when we have a deep excavation in uh, urban areas, so we need uh, to uh, safely excavate uh, the soil and also uh, prevent the collapse of nearby structure. In this case also we use uh, one type of a retaining wall. So uh, in here we will uh, shortly talk about different uh, types of uh, retaining wall and uh, their use and application and also uh, their cost. Uh, the first one uh, is a gravity retaining wall. So this kind of retaining walls depend on uh, their own way to resist a lateral earth pressure or uh, any uh, external load uh, exerted by a soil. Uh, also they are uh, simple robust walls and uh, uh, that use mass and the force of gravity to keep uh, the soil in place. Uh, this type of uh, retaining walls uh, uh, typically made from a uh, concrete stone or uh, sometimes masonry uh, or sometimes uh, precast concrete blocks are used to construct uh, this kind uh, of uh, retaining wall so regarding the height and dimension of uh, this type of retaining wall uh, it is uh, suitable for low to medium height application we cannot uh, use uh, this kind of retaining wall for uh, very high uh, excavation or uh, high retaining walls uh, so typically uh, this type of retaining wall is can be used uh, up to six meters uh, 20 feet height and uh, the wall base must be wide to prevent uh, the over uh, turning and uh, regarding the application for uh, this type of retaining wall it is uh, ideal for a uh, landscaping small uh, embankment and uh, low height uh, walls uh, regarding the cost uh, it is uh, economical for uh, low height application also the cost of uh, this retaining wall this type of retaining wall increases with the height of uh, the large mass required for uh, stability because uh, this type of retaining wall is uh, depends on its weight to resist uh, the soil uh, pressure uh, that's why uh, generally the dimension uh, the thickness or the basement of uh, the walls are big enough. Another types of uh, retaining wall uh, which is very common in uh, construction and in uh, urban areas it is called the cantilever retaining wall and uh, cantilever retaining walls are designed with a vertical uh, stem and also a base uh, uh, slab this is a base slab and uh, this is a vertical uh, stem and providing support uh, through its own weight and, and resisting uh, uh, overturning uh, forces so the material uh, the concrete uh, reinforced concrete materials generally used for uh, this type of uh, retaining wall and uh, it can be used up to 10 uh, meters 10 to uh, 30 feet also the wall uh, thickness and uh, reinforcement increases with the height and load because when the height of the retaining wall 
is uh, uh, when when the height of the retaining wall increases uh, the pressure on the retaining wall is increases so the moment increases that's why we will need uh, uh, the larger uh, retaining wall and also more uh, amount of uh, steel uh, rebars uh, regarding the application it is uh, used in commercial and industrial projects like highways and also areas with a high lateral earth uh, pressure often uh, seen in high embankment or retaining walls for elevated uh, roads uh, sometimes in highway engineering uh, we need to elevate uh, the road so this kind of retaining wall uh, are common or can be used in this uh, kind of project regarding uh, the cost the cost of cantilever retaining wall, wall is more expensive than the gravity wall due to the reinforcement and complex uh, design. Another type of uh, retaining wall or shoring system we have a sheet pile retaining walls and we can, as we can see in uh, these two uh, figures. Uh, sheet pile walls are uh, constructed using long interlocking sheet uh, of uh, steels. Uh, steels or vinyl or timber sometimes driven uh, deep into the ground and uh, these walls are used to resist a lateral pressure from uh, water or uh, a soil as we can see in here we have uh, water also in here we don't have the water so uh, this in uh, in here uh, this type of shoring systems only uh, support uh, the soil so the material uh, used for uh, this type of uh, shoring systems are uh, generally steel, uh, sometimes vinyl or aluminium or wood, but uh, in most cases uh, uh, the steel are used for uh, this type of shoring system. Uh, regarding the installation, uh, the sheet piles are uh, driven into the ground using vibratory or impact driven method and after that the excavation is uh, done. Uh, for the, the height and dimension of uh, the wall, uh, this type of uh, retaining walls or shoring systems are suitable uh, for low to medium height, typically up to 10 meters. Uh, or 30 uh, feet it can be extended deeper by adding more sheets to the uh, depth of penetration in general uh, the the length of uh, these uh, sheet piles are 12 meters but it can be uh, extended uh, uh, depends on uh, the manufacturer and uh, regarding the application uh, this type of retaining wall ideal for waterfront harbor harbor walls canals and marine application uh, especially when we have the foundation for uh, bridges in uh, sea or in marine so we use uh, this uh, type of uh, shoring systems to uh, dewater for dewatering also and uh, uh, construction the foundation of uh, the bridge in uh, the water uh, regarding the cost uh, actually it is relative uh, relatively economical especially for uh, temporary uh, structures also this type of uh, retaining wall used for uh, temporary excavation also we have another uh, types of retaining walls uh, called diaphragm walls and uh, also this type of retaining wall uh, used in uh, urban areas especially for uh, uh, when when we uh, construct a basement and we have uh, existing nearby structure so this type of retaining wall uh, sometimes are used uh, for uh, deep excavation uh, it can be used uh, actually uh, generally the reinforced concrete and uh, uh, steel reinforcement or reinforced concrete uh, is used for uh, constructing this type of retaining wall and it can be used uh, to the height usually up to 10 meters or above it is possible uh, up to 20 meters or more and uh, the thickness of uh, this type of wall varies based on the design requirement 
and uh, regarding the application as uh, I said for deep excavation underground structure and subway uh, stations also uh, for basement excavation or deep uh, foundation uh, system for large uh, buildings uh, regarding the cost it is uh, actually expensive due to the depth of excavation and complex installation method uh, often used in high uh, technical a deep construction project where no other wall type is uh, suitable so uh, we also have another type of retaining uh, system which is called mechanically stabilized earth or MSE walls and uh, this type of wall consists of layers of uh, reinforced with metallic or synthetic strips uh, and which are integrated into the wall uh, structure to resist the lateral earth uh, pressure and uh, this type of wall we can see uh, for embankment also in uh, highway construction and uh, the material used for uh, this type of wall are the concrete uh, panel or the uh, also uh, these uh, strips or metallic uh, strips and the dimension of the strips uh, and uh, the yes the dimension of the metallic strips depends on the uh, design requirement and regarding the height uh, of uh, this type of wall it can be uh, constructed up to 10 to 15 meters and uh, as I said, uh, it is common in uh, highway uh, embankment, uh, railroad structure, and retaining walls for large commercial uh, projects. Uh, mechanically stabilized uh, earth uh, walls are used in areas with high traffic or uh, earthquake prone uh, zones. Regarding the cost, it is moderately cost effective compared to the traditional gravity or uh, cantilever retaining walls. Also, uh, we have another type of retaining wall which is called anchored retaining walls. Actually, this type of anchors can be used in uh, uh, maybe all uh, retaining wall types for example for cantilever retaining walls or uh, for uh, sheet pile walls so when uh, the height of uh, the excavation is uh, too much uh, to prevent the lateral uh, deformation of uh, the wall so these uh, anchors are used uh, it is generally uh, the material used for these anchors are uh, mostly steel cables or rods or uh, sometimes grouted uh, part we have we inject the grout into uh, the uh, ground anchor part so uh, it works as uh, a resistance uh, due to the friction and prevent the lateral displacement of the uh, wall so regarding the application ideal for high walls in areas where uh, limited space or difficult access for excavation such as steep embankment, deep excavation and uh, landfills also used for bridge abutment, underpasses or and uh, soil stabilization. It is uh, expensive because uh, the excavation is deep also uh, a lot of uh, anchors or materials are used. We also have uh, another uh, types of retaining structure which is called contiguous uh, piling walls or uh, tangent pile walls. So uh, uh, these uh, types of uh, walls uh, constructed by drilling uh, piles into the ground and placing them uh, closely together to form a continuous a continuous barrier typically used for deep excavation or retaining uh, waters so this type of retaining walls also uh, used uh, mostly in uh, urban areas and for uh, deep excavation and when uh, uh, there is uh, a high or uh, superstructure high uh, uh, high rise building uh, nearby the excavation so uh, this uh, 
types of uh, board piles are uh, uh, constructed and uh, this uh, this configuration called a tangent pine wall tangent uh, pile walls we also have a second uh, uh, pile uh, walls when uh, the piles intersect to each other a little bit uh, so the material uh, reinforced concrete uh, with the steel are used for uh, this type of uh, retaining walls and uh, it can be used for ha deep excavation up to uh, 20 meters or more uh, as I said regarding the application it is used for deep excavation project underground parking or metro tunnels uh, also ideal for water resistant walls uh, particularly for subway construction or basement uh, walls uh, regarding the cost actually it is expensive uh, because uh, of the construction process and also a lot of material uh, used in uh, this type of retaining uh, walls we have another uh, types of retaining wall uh, called uh, counterfort retaining walls. Actually, this is uh, similar to the cantilever retaining walls, except that uh, these counterfort are used to uh, uh, to resist uh, the high uh, uh, pressure uh, comes from uh, the soil mass and uh, it is uh, mainly uh, constructed from uh, reinforced concrete and uh, regarding the application uh, it is uh, used for medium to high walls up to uh, 15 meters or maybe more and uh, common uh, in large embankment highway project uh, as a cantilever retaining wall uh, regarding the cost uh, it is more expensive than uh, the normal uh, cantilever retaining walls so uh, this was a short or brief explanation regarding uh, some different types of uh, retaining walls i hope it was uh, clear and if you have any question you can write a comment and uh, ask your question so uh, i hope it was clear and we will continue uh, in the next uh, lesson